Hey, what's going on everybody? As you can see, it's good old back day. I do biceps and traps on this day too, but you know what, I didn't get very much footage on that. Uh, just really focusing on the back movements. And so I'm just starting off with the rack pulls and doing 225. And I just really wanted to focus on getting a lot more reps rather than um, higher weight. Um, for this particular day, back's been kind of achy, just kind of joints overall are kind of achy at the current moment. Um, eight weeks into my building phase and so just really trying to focus on range of motion, uh, rep cadence and just making sure I get a good pump um, as I'm doing more volume um, in the gym. So I'm doing 315 um, using straps just really focusing on not, um, you know, my grip does go out and I just want to make sure I'm hitting the back and targeting that big muscle group appropriately for growth. And so I just love this movement uh, for back day. And so just squeezing out a couple more reps um, just so that I can probably get in that 10 to 12 range. And when I actually move over to T-bar rows, I'm just really trying to focus on that thickness of the back. Um, you know, making sure that I'm really targeting, you know, different areas uh, within the mid back and, the, you know, the top of the back. And so, just really trying to focus on getting a lot more volume. So I actually did a drop set uh, within this particular movement um, just to help out with getting a lot more um, volume. And so I'm um, just really just trying to focus on um, getting every bit of muscle fiber activated um, so that I can have good growth, um, get a lot of blood flow into that particular area. Uh, you know, and so I think I've been focusing a lot on um, heavy weight and I think that's why my joints are just kind of fighting against me at the present moment so I'm just really trying to go back to basics and just really focus on hypertrophy work um, like I intended to. Um, I am debating to actually move into a different um, type of workout phase. I'm in just trying to investigate some areas of opportunity to make sure I can get that going next week and then I actually move over to high bar row or high rows on the hammer strength um, just to get a lot more emphasis isolation in the back area um, just slow and controlled movements and just really trying to get in the upwards of the 10 to 12 even up to 15 reps if I can uh, within this particular movement um, so that's where I'm at um, with the hammer strength. I really like hammer strength just so that I can put that emphasis on the back and then also did some rope rows. I feel like this movement in particular just helps out with getting a good stretch and a good contraction at the top of the movement and just to really focus on the rhomboids, um, the mid-back area. So the more you pull down, um, pull towards your hips, the more it's going to focus that emphasis on the mid-back. If you were to focus on bringing it more towards the chest, it's going to move up on the traps and the upper part of that rhomboid. Um, so just realize that it's just really how you pull that um, particular movement, uh, which is which target, which part of the back it's going to hit. Um, so I actually move over to rack chins. Um, I actually did some warm-up sets uh, with just body weight, and then I just moved up with a 45 plate um, just to help out with that movement as well. Um, just to help out with, you know, really trying to build up that back as, in a different way, different fashion. Um, I really like this ever since seeing like Lane Norton and Tommy Jeffers doing this back um, in the 2000s, uh, early 2000s. And also, I actually did some handstand push-ups. Um, I haven't done these in quite a while. I used to do this when I was break dancing and just more into hip-hop. So I'm um, just trying to hit those shoulders in a different way, um, you know, without doing overhead presses, trying to give myself a little bit of a break um, in this particular movement. Um, but, you know, really just trying to revisit some of my break dancing day. Now that I have more food in me, I can actually practice some of these extra things, um, just working on balance. Um, you know, I know these are like yoga movements, sort of, um, but, you know, just making sure that I am maximizing all my efforts and just working on just having fun uh, with it. But if there's any questions, if there's anything that you folks have, anything, suggestions, please leave them below and I'll definitely reply and respond to them. Thanks and have a good one. Bye-bye.